we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. Charles Mark Barkley might be the most valuable member of the sports media. Right. You agree? I, yes, I do. And I think there's only three or four people in the history of uh, broadcasting who you genuinely can say that people tune in to see them, right? The late, great John Madden, uh, who just recently passed, uh, um, was one of those guys. Barkley right now is the guy in all of sports. You can say people will turn in to see him. Did you try to get Barkley at ESPN? Absolutely. Absolutely. There's almost nobody who's really, really good we didn't try to get. The biggest issue at ESPN was, uh, and you know this, so we'll have a little fun with this, is ESPN wants you to work too damn hard. <laughs> we, weren't, we, weren't, we weren't willing to pay. Uh, I, I once remember talking to Shaq, who's a very good guy, very friendly, and I tried very hard to convince him, you don't want to be the second fiddle to Shaq. I'm sorry, to Charles. Come over to ESPN, you'll be the star. <laughs> and he said, I already talked to Charles. And Charles said, all I got to do is show up. Uh, and I don't have to rehearse. I don't have to be on Sports Center. I don't have to be on First Take. I don't have to be on PTI. I don't have to be on NBA Countdown. I can just work, come in, sit down, and uh, chew it up. And uh, so, yeah, it was hard to get him. I remember talking to Barkley. Barkley said, uh, hey, uh, ESPN is uh, interested in uh, signing me. And I said, well, let me tell you why you shouldn't do it. You, uh, where you're going to have to go every day or every other day, or you know, you're going to have to be on ESPN radio. You're going to have to be on, you, you go through the car wash there. You got to yeah. know the weather is going to be an issue. You go through the car wash there. And I, I said, you could do that. Or I'm going to guess TNT is just going to say, Hey, just show up and that's uh, have some fun. And he said, yeah, uh, this shouldn't be a hard decision. Yeah, he, he's right. And we knew we were operating with that disadvantage. Of course, the other worked for us because we had so much programming to fill and we needed guests and we and we cared a lot about getting our money's worth. So, uh, so yeah, it was a disadvantage and I do not blame Shaq or Charles. They're a city where they should be. <laughs> and by the way, let me say another thing, Dan, which I think you'll agree with, for all the worrying about preparation and all, the best show, uh, in some ways, the best sports studio show and all of sports is that Charles Barkley, Shaq, Kenny Smith, Ernie Johnson show. And it's because they look like they're having fun. They know what they're talking about. They're willing to be provocative. They're willing to, to uh, mash it up. And uh, it's great. Well, John, you're saying it right to my face that that's the best studio show. And I thought that I was part of the best studio show. I mean, well, you, were, you were part of the best sports information studio show possibly okay. not the not the game day uh pre and post and halftime show okay. so i should make that distinction okay all right fair enough